a short tutorial speech concerning the sopranino. There is not a lot to tell about the sopranino. This is a alto flute recorder and this is the sopranino, it's alt. Make the same note with the same fingering but an octave higher. Uh, uh, it's strange, but sopranino is very difficult to find a good sopranino. Normally, are made by uh, artist, artisan, and not uh, by. You cannot go in in a music shop to buy. A, it's very difficult to, to find a good sopranino. Uh, this one is wonderful. It's made by um, Kung, Kung uh, Company. As you can see, it's very, I don't know the English name, it's very <laughs> magro. It's very the problem, uh, if you are a man, if you have a big, big finger, it's too close because the, the finger is very small, very little. But normally, it's easier to play sopranino uh, because uh, Every instrument, when the instrument became smaller, it's more easy to make the same music. The, the music made with a bass flute, flute can be difficult, with a tenor less difficult, with alto less, soprano less less, and sopranino very easy. And normally you can go more quickly with the sopranino. Because there is more uh, rapid in the answer with the tongue. So, uh, if you want to study seriously a repertoire for sopranino, like the concerto, concertos by Vivaldi, you have to study before the same pieces with an alto. And when you arrive to do these pieces, circa good with an alto recorder, with sopranino will be perfect. So what's the problem with sopranino? The problem with sopranino is the tuning, because they change very much. So you can make, uh, when uh, it's more difficult to, to tune the very high note, as in the piano, for the people that tuning the piano, the higher note is very, very difficult to do. The lower note is less difficult, not to do lower, lower, the FIFA, but uh, also if you have to play together, two bass is very easy, two tenor is easy, two alto is normal, two soprano is uh, difficult, two sopranino is quite impossible because to make exactly the same, because with the, the same difference of uh, breath, in, in, you, in, in a bass uh, you change from 140 and 142 uh, vibration each min in sec second. With sopranino you change between uh, six, uh, 6,000 and 6,200. So it's a big difference. Uh, it's I will <laughs> never, I never do probably a duo with sopranino because it's, or an unisono to play together. To bass is very easy, to tenor is easy, not impossible. But two sopranino is quite impossible to arrive to make exactly the same note. Normally, the repertoire for sopranino is virtuosistic, <laughs> like in concert from Vivaldi. Probably also because the notes are so high that you cannot play something very sweet. This is difficult in sopranino to play to play something sweet. But there is a, a wonderful adagio. I will try to play for you the adagio in, in, from the concerto. It's in C major, but the adagio is in E minor.
keep moving the finger exactly the same, like an alto. This is an alto. This was the problem with the sopranino is most of the sopranino, the very good sopranino, are with the ancient tuning A 415. But now we use A 440, 42, 44. This is normally flute with 140. So you will see some difference. problem with the sopranino is this hole is so little that it's very difficult to make the higher notes. Normally you cannot use your knife, an uh, English name for this, but you have to use this, uh, this solution. But fortunately the sopranino make the higher note normally without problem. etc. Uh, another quality of the sopranino is that uh, he eat few air, so you can make very long sentence, very very long. Sopranino, if you are timid, you cannot play Sopranino because you are over all. You can have an orchestra, 20 people, 100 people, the Sopranino is the top. So if you make a mistake, if you lose, if you lose the, the point in which you have to start, it's a catastrophe with the Sopranino, not with the bass, with the tenor or with the... There is, um, the literature from Sopranino is normally the, this concert from Vivaldi. I don't know, four, six concerts, especially written for this instrument. Flautino was the name in the 18th century. And then, uh, of course, you can play in consort. You make the, the, the first uh, line uh, from Adonks. very good for make a uh, division or uh, agreement and other things. There is another piece that is made with sopranino normally is the Le Rossignol en Amour. Mm. good for play without score. Normally I prefer to read. But this is a piece that normally people play with the sopranino. The Rossignol and Amour by Couperin, concert by Vivaldi and consort music, Renaissance music. Then there is other pieces, modern or less modern. But this is the literature that normally people play with the sopranino. 